Hello guys, uh, so today I'm gonna basically take you through the whole process of uploading a file in uh, Nest.js with GraphQL upload. Uh, so recently I've been struggling with uh, basically the upload process, file upload process in, uh, in, in GraphQL with uh, Nest.js. Uh, so I thought that I should maybe I should create a video around it regarding the problems that you might face and how you can resolve them and what uh, uh, what different kind of uh, compromises that you may you will have to make uh, at least for now so um, so I have this uh, scaffolded project um, which is a simple uh, nestjs project which will uh, actually it has some files I have basic app module resolver uh, uh, service and main and uh, first of all I'll go through take you through the um, the packages that I'm using so for uh, uh, for uploading file we are using graphql upload uh, package with uh, nestjs so for that uh, basically we are using graphql upload 14 uh, because the new version has some uh, typescript related issues uh, that you may face so that's why uh, we are using this version and there are a lot of other issues also with different versions so i would advise to basically use this version uh, GraphQL upload 14. So uh, the other thing is that we uh, we're installing GraphQL upload TS. So that, that is also there. Okay, so let me just take you through the whole process. Uh, so first of all, um, we have this. Uh, so first, the the first and foremost thing that uh, we might have imported it as this but uh, you can as you can see that this uh, module has uh, some uh, doesn't have type declarations uh, so we we cannot actually use it like this so uh, we have actually just taken out the file basically import the file directly which is sorry Yes. All right. So this middleware is important. Uh, basically, this will the pro process our uh, form data, multi-part form data. And so we basically, we need to pass it as a middleware to our uh, Express application, which is basically as you are using Nest.js. So we'll pass it as a middleware, our uh, Nest.js middleware. So uh, you have to pass it like this, and it it will basically then be processing the requests the other change that you basically then what we're doing is uh, just uh, importing our graphql module uh, from basic uh, nestjs graphql so we're just uh, basically configuring a simple apollo driver with the auto schema file and uh, then we were going to app resolver uh, so here is the basic process so basically you need to understand that uh, we cannot we, we are not able to uh, pick up the different declaration uh, basically uh, we, we we cannot actually um, use it like uh, this like this so you we will have to basically import the files directly as the and as this so the other thing is that uh, this graphql upload uh, we have to pick it from graphql upload and the upload this is uh, uh, upload type uh, which we also need to pick up from graphql upload so now when we are actually creating our mutation uh, what we need to do is uh, let's just keep this part out so what we need to do is that basically we need to uh, give this uh, basically we're accepting an argument called image uh, which will be of type graphql upload which we're importing here and then uh, basically we need to use a variable name like image that here and then it stated i would be this upload which we're importing from this graphql upload so now if i try to run this project if 
it should work so you can see this is a distribution folder so when when i'll basically make this this request it would work all right just a second okay uh, okay so um, we haven't made the request yet so okay so you have to make the request like this basically we, we need to use these variables so i'll be uh, posting this uh, um, this mutation uh, request with uh, along with this video so in the uh, description so you can uh, you can basically use it so you can see that uh, let's just update this one okay it's working all right so now when i make a request so let me just show you one more thing so if we are using it without this one if i make this request then we're, you're going to you have this course issue cross site uh, request forged csrf issue so basically for that uh, to fix this uh, you basically need to pass this header apollo require flight to true and save and now if i make the request upload is true and now if i show you is here is our picture that we uploaded all right so uh, this is one of the uh, basically this is how i was able to basically make the upload uh, file upload process work in uh, nestjs with graphql but here i do want to mention uh, one thing which is that uh, if you are using validation global validation pipe with this request you will be facing some issues so let me just uncomment it and just try uploading the file again so if i make this request is going to throw okay you can see that it's throwing file dot create read stream is not a function so it still has this issue so for this part you will need to basically uh comment this part out i have tried uh, passing it as false uh, to both but it's still not working so right now this is how we are going to use it so yeah that's that's how you can basically uh, make the upload work in graph uh, nestjs with graphql thank you very much